Hey guys, Hose here, bringing you another video. Welcome back to Iron to Diamond, the series that takes a Smurf account, fresh account, never played right before. Take it from Iron to Diamond. Uh, let's burn Yasuo. Mainly just to stop my own team playing it, if I'm honest. Um, right, so we're going to continue going off the donos, because again, I want to try and get down this list, because it is still pretty damn big. So top lane, Alawi, Urgot, Yorick, Kled are available. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Depends, like, if I know what I'm against a lot of the time is what I'm going to be picking, right? Singed? Oh, is that donated? Singed? Oh, God. I hate singed. I literally... Obviously, the mastery system just says if you've played a champion or not. My main account, I'm not even kidding with you guys, has zero mastery points on Singed. I've never played Singed on my main account. I've played it on Smurfs more than I have on my main. I've never played it on my main. Literally have zero interest. <laughs> um, right, so we're against a Renekton. I'm kind of tempted not to do Singed. I'm kind of tempted to do a Lowey. Because that's donated too. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah, why? I don't think we've had a good Twitch jungle in this whole series so far. I'm not big on they all suck. Again, they naturally suck because when you have to rely on a cheese pick to climb, you're admitting you're a bad player. God damn it. God damn it. Okay, I'm even going to go Ignite. The reason why I'm going to go Ignite is because I think he's going to go Ignite. So I want to match his early aggression with some early aggression of my own. And plus, Alawi can team fight, but 90% of the time you just get CC'd in team fights. So it's a lot better just to stay in top lane, kill your opponent, just keep pushing. Uh, Sharpie lol, thanks so much dude. Glad you're feeling better. Yep, definitely. Every day waking up feeling better. Um, which is awesome. And for those that are wondering what's changed, I've been given, like, nothing out of the ordinary, really. Uh, again, I have gone to the, the the guy, the specialist. I have been kind of diagnosed with something that I'm going to have, scan like, a camera is going down my throat to confirm it. But he just said of the off the charts, like, hey, take this before you go to sleep. If that works, you probably, like, I think you 100% have what I have. So that's what I'd be doing. And all that is, is Gaviscon. Every night, I don't take hardly any Gaviscon, but before I go to sleep, I take a little bit, I wake up, and I never have to throw up. Um, and he said, if this works, it pretty much guarantees what I have and what he thinks I have is true. So yeah. And if you're wondering, Gaviscon is just like an anti... It's for heartburn and indigestion and stuff like that. So it's basically like an antacid. Um, so yeah. But anyway, let's get into it. We're playing uh, Alawi in the top lane. Alright, welcome to uh, this. Unfortunately, it's very quick, so I can't really stay long. But I just noticed that these two are a duo queue boosting strategy. Twitch Lulu. Lulu mid Twitch jungle. So, feel free to pause it. But yeah. I hate boosters. Again, uh, there's nothing I can say that, you know, makes it better. It's just sucky. Like, most likely what is happening is this person's probably a smurf of some kind. This person's getting boosted. That's usually the case. What is going on? I guess they want to ruin his early clear. So, yeah, they just want to try it because obviously the clear is red into mid. But, yeah. Um, someone's saying, do I think a certain player is good? Disregard his attitude. You can't disregard his attitude. Renekton's going to be late to lane. Klepto ja Oh, she's AFK. Uh-oh. Oh, she's here now. So legit, the enemy team are just 100% trying to stop his jungle clear in the early game. That's hilarious. But they're going to be hurting them. Like, they're tanking red buff now. <laughs> this is really funny to see. If Janna was there, goddammit. 
If they lose this fight, this game's over. This game's over already. Again, I don't like cheese boosting strats, but it, to me, it is hilarious that they just tried to stop his cheese boosting, like, early clear. And now he's got a double kill. <laughs> That's funny. Like, come on. That is really funny. <laughs> I guess, well, good attempt. Tw yeah, this is so oh good. So I will say my claim to fame on Alawi, um, when the champion first came out, I played quite a lot of her. Um, and I actually did get to the top 100 in the world on the champion. Um, back then, world rankings were a little bit more serious and stuff. They're not as serious nowadays. But yeah, I was a top Alawi 100, uh, a top 100 Lawi player in the world at one point. She is pretty cool. And she hasn't really changed much at all. He's dead. Two health! He's not dead! He had two health! Holy Jesus! Again, he has a stronger early game than me, but still. Two health! Are you serious? I can't believe that. Two! Again, a trade would be worth it for me, by the way, because I outscale. Like, oh, that sucks. But he's got no summoners anymore, and that wasn't all in. It's not that bad. It's just a real it's just annoying. Damn it. I could have played it better. Again, when you've died with flash up, you know you've done something wrong. So I could have flashed and then queued or something like that. Every death, again, the way that you've got to think if you want to improve in League, the, the easiest place, easiest place to look where you need to improve, every death. How did you die? Why did you die? If you look that stuff up and pay attention to every death, you'll probably start improving because then you'll realize why you're dying so much. The only deaths you truly don't have to look into too much detail are the intentional ones. And I don't mean intentional feeding, but sometimes, especially if you're playing a tank or an engager, you know you're going to die for going in. But sometimes that's the best play. If you go in and stun five people on the enemy team, you've done your job 100%. And yeah, you die, but that's fine. You don't have to look into those deaths. But... You know, the ones where you die randomly, limit those, get better at those, and you'll probably find you're going to be improving as a player quite a lot. Ah ha ha! Jesus, I can't fight him. He does too much damage. I'm too squishy to fight him. Jesus, I need armor. I guess I just shouldn't be fighting him at all in the early game. I thought I had him for free there, if I'm honest. Like, you probably saw me smiling. Like, I got a kill. Nope. He just absolutely obliterated my health bar. Like, it was just gone. Well, protect them. To be fair, I haven't played a Lowie for about two years. But I used to be a top 100 player in the world. <laughs> it's not helping me now, clearly. It's fine, we outscale. I'm just going like, to not risk anything. I've got to stop it. Like, if I played that smarter, like, think about it. I nearly got him dead by one of my E's. If I just wait until I get two E's, then I kill him. But I only waited to one. So let's just play smarter. Huzzy smart. Ow, that healing. Yeah, you normally do max E. I should be, to be honest. Ooh. Just Q gives me a little bit more, like, kind of wave clear in the early game, and I'm a little bit scared. Fine though. We've got this. Ah, 
I wonder why she's got klepto. Oh, they're being toxic. Why am I... Sorry, my duo is toxic. Yet you'll gladly be boosted by them. We've outscaled him now, by the way. Needed level 6. I just thought I could have killed him in the early game. I just rushed it, I guess. Lesson to self. Don't rush things when you know you beat them eventually. There's no need. Yeah, there's like basically nothing this Renekton can do with my ultimate. When when my ultimate's up, because again, remember how the champion works. Renekton is an all-in champion. Yeah, you're going all into an Alawi. Okay, and remember, I had a chainmail there, by the way. I had no damage items. I've now got a phage. So... Can we have an F in the chat for the Renekton, please? Wait, did I not? Oh, whoops. I muted everybody, but, but the Twitch, apparently. Wow, that must have been close. Wow, buffet. Anybody else hype for the new generation Pokemon game coming out this year? Just don't give me goddamn anything else but gyms. Give me gyms, goddammit. I, I played like two hours of Sun and Moon and then I realized, wait, there's not gyms in this game? Goodbye. And then I never played it again. Noms! That was a little bit close, because I'm going to be honest, I thought he used Ignite earlier. I thought he used Ignite when we fight for him here and he died. Nope, he didn't. Apparently not. I also slightly misplayed that, because I didn't use a Corrupting Potion. I, I remember my rune. I've got the uh, Potion rune, which means I heal a little bit when I pop a Potion. I, I think I heal half of it instantly. So if I use that... God, this Janna's not offering the, the guy anything, is he? Um, if I use the Corrupting Potion, even without Twitch there, I probably would have been fine. But I didn't. I now got Ignite up and now Renekton doesn't. Whoa. Oh. You know when you're, like, disappointed with yourself? Yeah. Missing ease on a Lowry is, like, the embodiment of being disappointed with yourself because you're just like, uh -huh. <laughs> No. My damage. Wow. Again... It's not a satisfying win when you're winning with this. No one's having fun. They're probably not even having fun. The Lulu's just getting boosted. I don't know. Give me the money. But we killed Renekton, obviously, with that gank that we didn't even have to use our ult. We didn't have to use Ignite. Nor did we have to use Flash. Oh, wait. Udo is level 6. Nice. Wow, they even got a kill. 
Janna's alive. Why did she stop? I don't think she should have stopped. The Udi was so squishy. Oh, wow, they killed everything. The Udi is so squishy that I think the, he would have just died naturally to the tower. God, Alawi is just, like, crazy. I've, I've kind of forgotten how, like, annoying Alawi is. Because what do you do? Should have just flashed away. I shouldn't have tried to fight him. That was my bad. I should have just run, forest run. Hmm. Why did I buy this? Like, I know I bought this just to survive the early game, but it actually has no use. I think I should have just left it at two cloth armors instead of buying a chain, because I legit don't need it for anything. Like maybe a GA later. But normally you don't even want to buy a GA on a Lowey because the whole point of the champion is you've got to constantly be attacking with your W and your tentacles. The moment that that stops, you're useless. So if you get killed in GA and you come back up, your tentacles will probably run out with your ultimate. So it's kind of pointless. You may as well just buy more items to give you direct fighting power right then before you end up dying. So yeah. Ba -da 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 -da. Oh, I hate missing that. Ooh, one hundred and ten smackers. <sighs> I hate missing it so much. He's got Ignite up now, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, there was a minion right in front of me that I didn't see. Wait, I'm two levels ahead. Holy moly. God damn it! <laughs> Wait, is this, is this new with Renekton's eyes? I don't really remember his eyes being like that. Someone in Twitch chat, Goku and Twitcher. I'm not even playing and I don't like this Twitch. <laughs> Again, it's an anti-fun thing, right? You're not playing Twitch jungle to have fun, really. You're playing it probably more to deny others having fun, which some people admittingly have fun doing. Oh, mama. Mama. Ooh. Everyone on my team just died. Like, legit. He had ultimate up, but didn't use it. He got first tower. Nom. Cool. <clears throat> so again, I don't really want to team fight the enemy. They've got so many stuns and stuff that can just stop me. So I'm just going to keep going top. Keep going top and absolutely bombard the um, Renekton. We've outscaled him by this point, and we've honestly, with ultimate, we can two v one. Like with how squishy that, well, how squishy they, they both are. Yes, they've got stuns, and it basically I can two v one if I survive the two stuns. But yeah, Huz still uh, Huz still deserves this win regardless. He hasn't been carried by the duo booster. No, what well, we had that one gank that I might have killed a Renekton anyway, and yeah, if I you know. We outscale him anyway. It's inevitable that we were going to win top lane at least. I'm tilted. 
So like here, we're getting a gank, but he still had flash too. The game, I'd say, is pretty much over at this point anyway. Uh, Big Boss Barry. Thanks so much, man. The only thing that I question quite a lot, by the way, look at the enemy team's itemization. They really haven't itemized well. Um, Chris White 52. So the only strength in this game that we're ever going to have is AD. Uh, Swiftness Boots, not Ninja Tabby. He's also buying the full damage build. Like... That's very questionable from the UD. Renekton, I'd say, is fine. Xerath, eh. Maybe a Seeker's Arm Guard in there would have been helpful. Just to have it. A really easy debate. <laughs> Someone's saying they, they might not be boosting, they could be Smurfs. If it was Smurfs, you wouldn't be playing Lulu mid. A Smurf would be playing something that is actually like a proper pick. I didn't hit. Thought my E hit. Nope. How would you beat Alawi? CC her. Again, it's the thing that I've said forever and a lot of people go, but every champion gets countered by CC. Again, it's the priority list. So if you have two champions, one of them is an Alawi, one of them is, I don't know, uh, a Teemo, you know. Which one do you want to CC first? The Alawi, right? So that's why, yeah, it sounds weird when you're saying CC is her counter, because obviously every champion's counter is CC, but it's just her her ultimate counter, what you want to do to allow it, is prioritize the CC on her. That's the point. Oh. And yeah, when she throws her E and then her ultimate out, run away. Do not fight when her ultimate is up. Basically, no champion can 1v1 that. Uh, it has too much strength. My bot lane have not played well. And again, I know there's going to be people watching this kind of go, oh, has just leave the Twitch alone. He's just playing his video game. Again, the, the thing that I've got to just say, everybody watching this video right now, you'll have picks in League that you love and you'll have picks that you hate. This is just a pick that I hate. Everything about it, I hate. It's that simple. It's okay to have picks that you dislike. You know, some people go as far when they have a champion or pick that they dislike, they troll or whatever. I'm never going to do that. I don't care enough. I just dislike it. I'm never going to think that somebody playing Twitch jungle is good. If I want to kill Miss Fortune, I need flash. And that's if she doesn't have her flash up as well. Throwing ultimate down. For those that are wondering, why do I ult? So for those that don't know, what Alawi ultimate does, you can see there, is speed up your tentacles. So that's why you'll occasionally see Alawi's ult when people aren't even in their like range anymore for auto attacks. Because yeah, you speed up your tentacles. So sometimes your ult is fast. Your tentacles are faster, even though the enemy team aren't near you and you can get the kill. That's why. Uh -oh. 
I guess I'll go bot now. I haven't been against his Renekton in ages. I guess he might be like, oh, yeah, he's outscaled me. Oh, there's no point me even being near him, possibly. But no one's stopping me. I don't like no one's stopping the Twitch. <clears throat> to be fair, they don't have a great comp to deal with it. <clears throat> Again, I know I don't rate Udyr, but remember when we played Udyr? What was the weakness of that game? We couldn't get to the really fed Caitlyn. Same thing happening. Like, this Udyr's not going to be able to do anything. He can't 1v1 me. He can't get to the Twitch. All the Udyr really can do this game is objectives, and that's not going to win them the game. So yeah, Ude, he, it's like he's a he's a very easy champion, obviously straightforward champ to play. He's very hard to pull off because he's just not very useful. Do you think he'll fight me? He might, you know. He shouldn't, but he might. I got one. 1v3. Not bad. Probably not worth it, but... Oh well. I could 1v3 if like I had my... if I didn't waste my ultimate when I did. I just thought I'd blow up the Udyr instantly, but he didn't die. Um, Do I want to get rid of this? I don't know. Yeah. Actually, we won't get rid of it yet. I'd get rid of it if I could buy a Death Dance for it. Eight hundred gold. Misfortune R tickled me. Yeah, she doesn't do a lot of damage. So yeah, he's just going to go for a split put- wait, I just noticed his name. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> oh, I didn't notice that before. Again, I really don't pay attention to some of the names usually. Wow. Guys, la ladies especially. Uh, this Udyr is definitely available. We can tell that by the name of his, you know, his summoner name. So, you know, feel free to add him if you're available as well. He just couldn't get to the Twitch at all. Oh, man. I've never seen the... Like, again, we played Udyr a little while. And I guess his damage when you actually could be on people is fun. But I don't see how people can play a lot of Udyr. I'd get bored really quick. Wait, the females watching are saying no. What, what do you mean? What? You're going to deny Clipmaster? Take it seriously. Oh my god. CC is my nightmare. Oh. It would have been good if my, my team did Baron or something. The idea when you're doing like a... What the... There he is! <laughs> Oh, he even used Flash and he couldn't get to the Twitch. Again, the Twitch, I will say, he's probably a great player. Like, mechanically. But he's doing nothing out of the ordinary Twitch, you know what I mean? He's just kiting. And they just can't get to him. Oh, God, that's funny. There's Master Yi and there's Clipmaster. Yep, they're brothers. They went in different directions in life. Renekton just W'd a minion. Legendary. I literally don't need to do anything this game. All I'm doing is 1v3-ing, and then my team aren't doing anything when I'm by myself. They do it without me. Like, what? Why aren't they making plays when I've got three people with me? Why do they wait until I'm dead? 
Because the reason why I'm always against three people is because my team aren't ever pressuring the enemy team. So then, yeah. Uh, oh, that did damage. Da -da 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 -da. Oh. <clears throat> Where is Misfortune running Arcane Comet? I don't really know. We also don't need Baron this game. Yeah, we did 13... I think we did 1300 damage uh, to the enemy champion by having just my E on them. And we didn't get one auto attack off. That was just killing their ghost. It's a lot. Ooh. Do Baron, my team. No, they're not doing Baron. Okay. Never mind. Like, what are they doing? Nothing. The answer to the question is literally nothing. What? Legendary. Well, like, what are these two doing? Like, legit seriousness. Like, I want to be by myself in a bot lane or something, but I can't because my team is never pressuring. Like, this guy's like AFK. I don't know what the hell's going on here. Janna was just standing in mid lane. So two people on my team were just not doing anything. Why? Like, not, again, a lot of people are going to go, Huzz, stop going by yourself in bot lane. This is what Alawi does, and it's usually completely fine. Like, 100% fine. The reason why it's not working this game is because... My team is never pressuring when I'm bot lane. So three or four people can always come to bot lane. And then my team doesn't do anything. Like, notice again. Okay, my team did Baron now. But that's when I came back alive. Like, why didn't they do that when there were people bot lane? They're not do they're not achieving anything while I'm split pushing. It's really weird. Oh, they GG'd. There we go. I I'm guessing they must have been typing. No, I, I didn't mute Ezreal. He just said GG in all chat. He was just legit AFK. I don't know what happened. Weird. Really weird. Odd game. Very odd. Um, I don't think anybody deserved an honor. All right, we went seventh, uh, seventh, six, three, gain twenty six, get an A plus. Damage. We do the second most damage in the our team. Uh, and yeah, for those. <laughs> Why are you playing this? Like, look, like that Lulu is not having fun. Like, it, no way, having fun. You're just walking around with that. I don't, I don't get it. Uh, damage wise, compared to the Renekton, we do more double, more than double his damage. By the way, Udid is the least damage on his team, even less than a Sona, because again, he just literally couldn't get to anybody. But yeah, that was Lowy. Pretty honest, like, honestly, just a like, kind of stereotypical Alawi game. We didn't do great in the really early game, but then we eventually outscaled our opponent. Then we could try go for 2v1s and stuff like that, and then eventually split pushing. The only difference with this game is normally you, your team would be pressuring as you're split pushing. Mine didn't. They always kind of weren't doing anything or backed off as I was splitting. So that's a bit annoying, but yeah, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, throw a like on it, subscribe. Let me know what you think of like the boosting strat. Are you against it? Are you okay with it? Do you care? Do you not? Again, like I said, I'm never going to like make a big deal about it. You notice I didn't type anything to the Twitch. I didn't say anything to the Lulu. If this wasn't a commentary, no one would know I don't like it. I just don't like it. It's that simple. It's, it's, it's just something in me that I'm like, that's just dirty, if you know what I mean. Uh, but yeah, like, subscribe. See you guys next time. See ya.